Hey guys, so just a quick video here on this seemingly minor but actually super problematic glitch that's been pestering me for a while. At first I thought it was a very specific animation combination related to attacking after stopping a block sprint, but I've come to discover that it's more general. Where the input queuing for some upper body animations that are combined with lower body movement have some huge input eating issues. But let's start with a specific subtle issue that I initially discovered and found out how to reliably recreate. Take a look at how my light attack input just doesn't do anything when it should. Here's an example of it happening in a real battle. I run up, pressuring my opponent while sprinting and utilizing the block toggle. Then suddenly, I just stop in place looking completely silly. And the reason for that is was because I was expecting for a certain animation to play. That animation being my attack animation. And it just didn't happen. It seems the conditions for it are block sprinting in any direction, letting go of sprint and block around the same time, and input queuing for an attack, roll, or some other action that applies. The weirdest part is, if you look at all the data of the exact animations playing, they should be allowing you at all points to queue an action. But the vast majority of action types just have their input 8 in this very specific situation. Within the game's character script, I believe it's an incorrectly written condition that is unintentionally stopping either the action from being queued or the animation from being played. An error like this could be compared to how the bow glitch was able to work in Dark Souls 3, where inputting for a move as well as using your weapon skill with the bow in the offhand would activate some faulty code that ended up playing a lower body walk animation but with no reset of the last upper body animation, such as an attack. This played the walk animation with the upper body animating the glitched move. This glitch effectively allowed players to forcefully play animations on whatever they liked and whenever they liked. While this issue is nowhere near as game breaking, it can still severely harm the combat experience for players. But like I said at the beginning of the video, I soon learned that this is not the only action sequence that has this issue. Let's talk about the one related to toggling. If you are doing any sort of movement, and attempt to queue an attack after a weapon switch or two hand, also known as toggling, it will simply not queue your action, despite the fact that the entire animation has an event allowing you to queue an action, and seven frames into the animation, it activates an event for cancelling into those actions. Somehow, the movement element of this is responsible. If you stand still and perform a toggle, you'll see that you can now properly queue actions out of the animation. Now let's get into the final known animation that drops your inputs. If you are one-handing, do a running jump, and are holding sprint the moment you reach the ground, you can immediately cancel into a running attack during this landing animation. But when you two-hand your weapon, suddenly it drops every single light attack input. Yeah. And again, the animation data doesn't at all suggest it's designed to work this way. Well, at least there's a little workaround here. You can either let go of sprint before you land to not get the sprinting land animation, or simply cancel it with a block, and follow up with whatever action you wish. But in general, these bugs are pretty annoying. At least for me, I can definitely say the block sprinting issue is one of the top things bugging me in PvP, especially at the moment. As you can see, I like to make use of block sprinting a lot for optimal movement and spacing. And when the game just decides, whoops, sorry, we couldn't register your input. When you're simply doing something that's such a basic function of the game, it's pretty disheartening. Important to note so I don't accidentally spark a bunch of disinformation spreading in the comments, please don't jump to conclusions on what you think is bugged input eating without the proper research and review, as a lot of people confuse the intentional restriction of inputs with the game being completely broken, unplayable, uh, bugged, etc, etc. Don't get me wrong, FromSoft's input design is not beyond criticism whatsoever, but there's a big difference between bugs and, you know, the input design not being done how you prefer. If I double input for a heavy attack, it will not do two heavy attacks in a row. This isn't the game being broken, but it's deliberately restricted so that the follow-up moves can only be queued around the point that your first move starts the actual swing or poke. I'll discuss the further mechanics of action queuing in another video, but just make sure to verify before assuming the game is unintentionally not acting off your input at a designated point. To close out, here's what I'll be calling each of these three specific input eating bugs to make things easier for later. Block Sprint Input Drop Moving Toggle Input Drop and finally, the two hand jumping input drop. But yeah, feel free to report this glitch through any means you can, and that's basically all I have to say on this issue for now. I really hope it gets fixed. Also, if you're watching this video near the hour it was posted, I'm probably streaming Elden Ring Invasions right now over on Twitch, so I'd be delighted if you join me. 
Thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed already, I'd love if you did so. And if you are really enjoying my content, consider supporting me on Patreon, for which you will get one of these end screens at the end of my videos.